What's up, you guys? This is Divine Messenger 33. Where I get messages from the Divine, I give them straight to you guys. So clearing out any energy that will not benefit this message. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, my ancestors, my spirit guides of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this current energy for Divine Feminine. Ancestors of my highest good, please give me clear and accurate messages. Welcome all my supporters. I appreciate you guys for liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all of the love, the support, the donations, the bookings, the emails. I appreciate you guys for all the love and the support you show to me and the channel. I appreciate y'all. All right, Divine Feminine. Let's see what's going on with you. What's the messages, Spirit? Do you need messages for Divine Feminine? What do you want Divine Feminine to know at this time? Divine Feminine. All right, so your crown chakra is on lit. So your connection to the divine right now is lit. Okay? You have direct communication. Yeah, when it comes to your uh, material and spiritual prosperity. Yeah, because you keep standing your ground as you should, divine feminine. Yeah, you disconnecting from all the bullshit. Okay? And people could feel it too. Is what I'm hearing. Divine Feminine, when you disconnect, motherfuckers feel that shit, yo. They feel it, yo. They feel that shit heavy when you disconnect. It's something about when you do it. Can't nobody do it like you. You disconnect and motherfuckers. Listen, I split the deck on the Ten of Wands. When you disconnect, it's like, man, that shit be heavy on motherfuckers, yo. It be heavy. Somebody could be a life path number seven, life path number four, life path number six. All right. All right, let's see. Crown chakra. What's this crown chakra? Oh, yeah, empress. Damn. That came, listen. So your crown chakra is on lit lit. Yeah, I feel like you're getting a lot of clarity. You're going to get a lot of clarity when it comes to a, a lover situation. So you are going to be getting some clarity when it comes to a lover situation. So if you've been wanting some clarity about that, you're going to get some clarity about it. Some about a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus. Okay. Don't have to be, but those signs could be significant. Material and spiritual prosperity for Divine Feminine. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating. Yeah. You're going to be celebrating some shit soon. Yeah, Ten of Swords after a betrayal. For some of you guys, you're going to get um, some kind of confirmation that there's a friend that betrayed you when you do some investigating. There's a friend that betrayed you. Okay, possibly when it came to your foundation or something like that. Yeah, you're going to find out something to do with a Virgo, a Gemini, or a Scorpio. All right. Yeah, you're going to find out about something here. Yeah. And, I mean, it's going to set you free because, I mean, you're going to know who to cut off and who to move on from. So, I mean, it's kind of like a bittersweet kind of energy. All right. But more sweet than bitter, though. <laughs> Of course. All right. So stand your ground for Divine Feminine. Stand your ground. Yeah. Knight of Wands. So it's a lot of people that are sexually attracted to you, Divine Feminine. Okay? Like, and they coming towards you. All right? <laughs> and, it, and I'm hearing very forceful as well for some of y'all. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing, y'all. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Yeah, for some of you guys, you you need to stand your ground with somebody that um, a couple situations. It's somebody that keep wanting to come back and having sex with you. 
And you need to stand your ground to this person because they ain't shit. This person got you in a third party situation with somebody else that they they keep fucking with. So it's like something to do with a Sagittarius or a Pisces or a Taurus. It's like this person, they keep going back to somebody else and they ain't going to stop going back either. Okay, like, so your angels are calling you to stand your ground to this person because they ain't shit, okay? <laughs> and for others of you, it's like you keep kicking somebody out in your family. Like, this person, they could stay with you or something and you keep kicking this person out. And, yeah, like, this, you need to disconnect. Yeah, disconnect from this person. All right, like, no, this is not it, okay? Yeah, this ain't it. It ain't it, Divine Feminine. That's just what I'm feeling. You know, I got to let you know the real. You know how I do, okay? You know, I only got love for you. Only got love for you, Divine Feminine. That's it. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Okay? So this is like confirmation for you that a manifestation is coming but it may not be coming as fast as you want okay but it's coming divine saying that they have recognized what you manifesting is coming but in divine timing though yeah so surrender to joy a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times keep surrendering to more joy so basically saying, regardless, smile, regardless, smile. Okay. Because it could always be worse. Right. All right. Divine feminine. So definitely you're going to be getting some clarity on some shit. So definitely your crown chakra is like lit lit. For some of you guys, your hair, um, you could notice like faster hair growth for some of y'all like faster hair growth or like the top of your head itching okay like all right divine feminine yeah within 18 months so within 18 months something to do with your material and spiritual prosperity could be coming into like full circle yeah and it's gonna be on a sunny ass day of course divine feminine because that's what we do we bring the light we bring the sun we bring the heat <laughs> yeah so that's great energy all right divine feminine all right so somebody pregnant could need a mechanic okay something to do with an aquarius so so somebody could need a mechanic or something like that. Somebody car could be down. Okay. Current energy for divine feminine. Yeah, for some of y'all, it's somebody you got a family with that's just no. You could break up and make up with this person a lot. and Or you could fight with this person a lot. Mm-mm. High class. Yeah. Divine feminine. Colored hair. I'm hearing that you're going to be elevated to high class. And if you are in high class, you're going to be elevated even higher than that. So that's great energy. Divine feminine. I feel like a lot of you guys, you stand to your ground and you ain't taking no bullshit, yo. You disconnecting from anything that's not serving you. You ain't playing. Shit. We have African. All right. College graduate. White liquor, clear liquor. Somebody could love. We have B. 
tone or muscular. Long curly hair, real or fake. H. Something to do with a cancer could be significant. We have hacker. Somebody could love drinking wine. We have thongs, beer, thick eyebrows, glasses and their contacts, club employee, small feet. Somebody could love like body sprays. That earth sign hater, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, married. So you could have a married, there is an earth sign that was, that's married, that's hating. Okay, in your energy. Love and or romantic movie somebody could love. CNA. Or it could be a, a married Gemini. Okay. Or something about a married Gemini. We have 30s. Oh, something about Ohio. High cheekbones. P. Aquarius. Braids and or locks. Yeah, I'm telling y'all some real ass shit about this. Pregnant. That air sign the hater. So this could be a married air sign as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Don't have to be married, but she could be. Or he could be. Whatever. Something about Philadelphia. I heard Boston. Something with Bianca. Something with Pierre. Something about 2007. Something about 2007. Somebody could have a seven-year-old. Somebody could be seven months pregnant. Somebody could have been born in July. Somebody could have seven children. Somebody could have a building number seven. Somebody could be on the seventh floor. All right. Something about a PhD. Okay, as well. I heard Harvard. Harvard. I heard Harvey. Something with Harvey. Okay. What else, Spirit? Any other messages? Let's get one more. In this deck. I heard Brandy. Something to do with Brandy. codependency in the reverse i feel like you guys aren't codependent on shit on nobody yeah i feel like you guys sacrificed being codependent and that's awesome and your angels are recognizing that so if you have sacrificed codependency your angels are letting you know yeah that that's helping you and for some of you guys if there's anything in your energy that you need to sacrifice, that you know that you could be codependent on, your angels are asking you to sacrifice it. So for some of you guys, you could have something. This could be a relationship. This could be a lover situation. That's code. That's like codependency. It's not good. It's not good for you. And your angels are asking you to disconnect from it because it's not good for you. It's not good for what you're trying to build or nothing. But for a lot of you guys, you are going to receive some kind of confirmation. You're going to receive some strong clarity about something. That, you know, something about codependency in your energy. You're going to realize something. Okay? Yeah, you are going to have some kind of enlightenment. Something to do with the 15th. All right. All right. I heard Hamlet. Hamlet. All right. Something with Antoinette. Anita. Okay. Sharon. Chirac. Or something like that. Chirac. All right. All right, you guys, 
like comment and subscribe look in the description box below for the services that i provide and something about the 70s somebody could have been born in the 70s or whatever okay again i'm gonna say the signs so we have gemini libra and aquarius we have taurus virgo scorpio cancer pisces sagittarius all right all right you guys peace and love